What is going on guys, it is Armada, and today I am bringing you guys with another top 5, and I know the light on my face makes me look so, like, but anyways, um, I, I know, I'm doing a face cam, and that is kind of weird because I haven't done a face cam in a, a little bit, but it's a top five, so I'm doing face cams now. So yeah, and by the way, I kind of want to say something about the World War II guides, that my Easter egg guide uh, was supposed to be this video. That video didn't want to render or something like that, and it was really hard to like, you know, so it probably won't be coming out. Which kind of sucks, because I worked so hard on it, and yeah, I don't really know what to do. If you do see it out, that means I did manage to somehow, you know, render it, but I'm gonna keep trying. But so far, I don't know what to do, so can I get a rip in the chat? <coughs> but, but let's put all that negativity out of the way, because negative like an electron. One of you guys would get that joke. But yes, let's get started on the top five best weapons in World War II zombies. This top five will not be including any wonder weapons, so no Tesla guns and no other flamethrower shenanigans, no. None of that is gonna be in this thing, so yeah, I'm, I'm done rambling on. Let's get started on the top five best guns in World War II zombies. In a normal fight spot, we got the Thompson. Now, some of you guys probably not even seen this gun because Honestly, I haven't seen it, but it's actually a gun that I decided to put in here because it's a spawn gun and you can get it out of the wall and it's honestly not even that bad. You can get this in pretty early rounds and this gun is just good. You know those guns that are just good and you don't know how to describe it, but I feel like this one stands out, but I don't know why. It's just good, and it, it's a rapid-fire gun, obviously, and I don't know how much it holds because I'm not a weirdo and just studies the gun. But yeah, but it's one of those guns that if you do have it still, and you do have enough money for Pack-a-Punch, you might as well just Pack-a-Punch that gun. It's not even that bad. Again, there is other guns out there that you could get, but having this gun will kind of satisfy your needs for a good gun. So yeah, there's not a lot to say about the Thompson, but there is a lot of zombies dead. I'm sorry, I'm not good at this. But yeah, Thompson comes in in our number five spot, and I look really, really pale. In our number four spot, we got the combat shotgun. Now, there is quite a lot to say about this. This gun is uh, another wall weapon, and you can actually get it in the beginnings of the round, I think. I don't even know. But this combat shotgun makes you feel so powerful. You know, when every time... Every time you get this gun, and then you just go, it just kills a zombie. And this thing is surprisingly so powerful. All you really need is to aim down on a zombie, then shoot it, and then immediately die like an insta-kill up until round 20, which is amazing. Because when it's pack-a-punched, it is so much stronger. And I know I'm sounding like a nerd for everyone at school, like, oh, look, it's another one of... Armada's videos. <sighs> Just stop. But yeah, back to the combat shotgun. When it's pack a bunch, it holds even more ammo. Obviously, it's pack a bunch. And you can take out those whistling zombies pretty quickly with this thing. You just need to shoot him, go start screaming at you, aim right behind him, and go. Pfft. Literally two shots, not even joking, two shots and it will kill him. Combat shotgun, really, really cool. One of my favorite shotguns. I actually didn't know this was in the map. I just found it last game and I was like, whoa, this is strong. So do I recommend you to get this in the spawn? 
yes because this thing will definitely save your life if you're doing some sort of easter egg or looking for some other stuff honestly i don't know what the heck you might do but anything you want to get away from zombies with the combat shotgun is the weapon to go to ah <laughs> all right but that's that that's number four no talking about number four anymore we're talking about number three <laughs> In our number three spot, we got the MG-15, and I'm always looking down because I have the little list here. I don't want you guys to pause the video and, you know, see what the next part is. But this one, like I said, is the MG-15, and this is beastly. I honestly had trouble putting it in with the third spot and the first spot because it was really, really good. But then I realized, wait, there's another gun that should go in the second spot. But the MG-15 is no joke. This thing will kill any zombie you want it to kill. And mostly because if it's full packed of ammo it has so much ammo and it's so devastating to just see that thing and just shred through zombies i think it's pack a punch name is something shred or shredder and that is not a lie this thing will just stop any commotion that is going on it's literally an insta kill as a weapon i just wanted to point that out because people might skip there and say why is the third gun in the top five list better but yes the pack a punch version of this holds even more ammo if you actually customize this weapon to have extended ammo then i don't know what this gun might turn into but i know it might turn into a even better but assuming that you didn't put that on this gun already has so much ammo in it mg15 is no joke and having this gun you probably won't even ever need a max ammo but yes that's it for the number three spot in our number two spot we got the bacon and eggs now oh my gosh if any one of you ever liked the mustang and sally woo this is a real big change basically if you don't know what the mustang and sally is is two dual wield pistols that shoot out grenades and blow up and everyone loved this thing now world war ii basically took their own spin on this and they called it the bacon and eggs and i love the name by the way because they work so good together bacon and eggs on a breakfast but basically people stopped playing the mustang and sally because you need phd and basically phd would help you protect yourself from this thing because this thing back in the day used to hurt you but the bacon and eggs Eggs doesn't do that it's literally giving you a gift of life because this is not gonna hurt you it's only gonna hurt the zombies and saying this makes me so happy but killing zombies is what I do best and this gun loves it too I don't know what to say about the bacon and eggs those have been this gun is so awesome and we don't need any PhD for this map because the bacon and eggs. I also like to point out that the bacon and eggs, I'm sorry, I keep saying that a lot, but I like to point out that these guns actually really, really do help you in any defense thing, and there is a lot of them in this map, and also any soul box thing that you have to do, they really help you, or if you're cornered, just aim down and start shooting. This thing will protect you in any given situation. It was no joke. Just gonna say, all right, you're in trouble again. I'm gonna help you with this one and although there's one flaw that you can lose the ammo if you're a bit careless like me and you know just shoot two zombies with this gun it's fun to shoot but like you can lose quite a bit of ammo so be careful but anything else kind of recommend you to use this weapon as last destination weapon that is the number two spot and now we've got the honorable mentions Kind of a little bit excited, just a little, about this one because this one is the Type 100. Now, the Type 100 is uh, another spawn one, but I gotta say, this one is probably my favorite spawn gun in this map because if you don't want to wait and you just want to kill zombies, this is like an PPSH, but as a spawn weapon in World War II, if that makes sense. But yeah, I just really find myself having a lot of hope for this weapon because it is it is really good pack punching it also makes it pretty cool i don't want to really talk about the honorable mentions a lot but i just gotta say that type 100 but yeah that's all i gotta say about the type 100 awesome recommend it if you guys want to attend it bars bar but no let's get to the number one spot because i remember my friend always saying why is there the top five when you have honorable mentions shut up 
Bob. In our number one spot, we got the classic PPSH. It's classic, which it is classic, but this is the actual name, the classic PPSH. And I'm not talking about that one in the sewer area, that one is just the PPSH. If you do this little Easter egg with your money, and it's kind of weird, but you have to go up to little bowls that have little money in it and throw some jolts in the bowls and then they'll kind of spew out with money it's weird okay i'm not insane i'm not the mom from Str stranger things sorry i've been watching it and everyone hates it when i keep saying that but once you do this step and you get all the bowls there will be a new weapon that is actually available in the in the mystery box and it's actually the classic ppsh now this thing decimates through zombies it is this is no joke but it will kill anything including the flamethrower zombies in literally five seconds i am not joking this thing will literally kill it in five seconds i'll try to get some gameplay of me trying to kill this thing in five seconds but i'm not joking it will kill this thing in the next five or ten seconds i don't know it is decimator through everything and I really like how they did this and they did this in honor of Treyarch by the way which is good meme but like I really really like this weapon and I really hope that everyone does like this weapon and does do this thing for their own I always get this PPASH the classic I always get it that's a lie but uh, it, it's good okay don't don't ignore this thing get the classic PPSH and let me know what you guys think in the comment section below because you know what I think I think it's horrible. No, I'm joking. It's awesome. But yeah, that's gonna be the end for the top five best Call of Duty Wonder, no, weapons in World War II zombies. If you guys liked it, then leave a like and subscribe and ring that little bell no notification for any type of content. And also make sure to check out my Twitter links in the description and also my Instagram and also my Twitch. But yeah, that's gonna be the end of the top five. You'll always have a happy ending with these weapons until you die. But yeah, I'll see you guys in... I actually don't know what this one is. Make it up. Bye! Damn it, my leg.